Well, howdy YouTube, Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse. Today, an exciting, exciting episode. We're traveling into the big city of San Antonio, uh, where a client has uh, some requirements for larger SSD drives. They're currently running out of space on about eight of their workstations. So today we're going to visit them, we're going to replace their SSD drives, and I'm about to show you how it's done right now. So here's the remainder of the SSD drives that have to be installed. We've been waiting actually on this customer. They ordered these drives about three months ago and uh, we've just been waiting to get the time to come and install them. So we have it now. So let's go see what Jerry's doing. <clears throat> So you see Jerry's hard at work. He's getting ready to uh, download the software. Go to the Z drive, Jerry. You don't need to download it. Oh, that's it. right. That's right. You go to the Z drive and install it. It's under Acronis. And then here's the view. They're up on the eighth floor. So this is uh, San Antonio, and it's going to be rush hour soon. Let me pull the blinds up here. We're at was called Broadway and that's loop 410 out there so we got quite a view uh, all the way down and I hate heights but uh, yeah here's the skyline out here why we picked to come out on a Friday afternoon I'll try and get some film of that freeway at four or five o'clock and give you an idea what rush hour is like in San Antonio this is the loop that goes around the city Uh, and that's a Frost Bank building in front of us. And then over here we have the Broadway Bank building. We're over here at Broadway in Loop 410. That's where we're located. Uh, they have these nice Dell Precision workstations. So what we're doing is upgrading SSD drives. So this is the uh, CEO's computer. It's got four monitors on the desk. I would never use four monitors, but that's me. Uh, but we got it in there and then we're running <coughs> the Acronis uh, software that is provided with the uh, new drives. You just go download them at Crucial's website. So that's what we're doing today. We got six, seven of these SSDs to put in and they're all pretty much in, in these Dell workstations. And Dell thought ahead and actually uh, put uh, extra power cable, left one out, and a serial ATA cable in case you upgrade it later. So, uh, again, we're putting them in. These are going to be pretty fast uh, transfer times on these because they're both SSD drives. So, But the client had actually started to run out of space. So, so if you remember this location, this is the one where we put the cameras in uh, about a year ago, maybe half a year ago. They're still working well. These Amcrest uh, PTZ cams, uh, got them set up. Customers are very happy with them. So we'll come over here in the server room. And then here is the rack. So down on the bottom there is our Active Directory Domain Controller. We're going to be switching that out for a virtual one. And then uh, this is the machine that I connect up with and uh, do, do my work on. It's also where the backup uh, backups go, the backup drive goes. And then uh, these are the two Supermicro servers that we have in here. Then we have a... Or I'm a the uh, Grandstream uh, phone system, they've been using that about six months, they've been very happy with it. We've got a Unify uh, access point in here, our Unify uh, USG, the monitor, and then this is around this side. They do have a PoE edge switch, 48 port PoE, and then of course all the cables that go to everything. And this is actually the back end of the rack here. Uh, they have a nice mix of uh, these Grandstream uh, GXP 2160s, 2140s, and some older models that do that are doing really well. Uh, again, I, pr I like Grandstream products, never had a problem with them, and we're using that Grandstream UTM as well. So everything kind of ties in together. Uh, another one over here where Jerry's working. You can see he's getting ready to transfer the old data over to the new hard drive. 
this is their break room and then uh, down the hall here you guys said you like a day in the life so we're taking you along now we didn't this is a Friday afternoon we didn't get started till three o'clock and you can see the place is empty I prefer to do work when nobody's here it just makes life so much easier no offense to the people that work here but uh, it's just a lot easier if we uh, do our work without uh, anybody interfering uh, or having to have them stop their workflow so they leave early on Fridays so it's another desk another Intel these are Dell Precision T1700s and I cannot uh, I love these workstations uh, they got these on lease three years ago and then bought them off of the lease they made them a deal they couldn't refuse so and these are still relevant machines today I think they're either i5s or i7s but I've got a couple more here that we have to do and then down the hall here. Anyway, they've got a huge plotter here because they're an engineering for firm. They do a lot of government contract work. they got an old HP laser here. These things refuse to die. The 4000 and the 5, five series, the toner cartridges on them are like 30 40 bucks. They last forever. Uh, and then a big old uh, Epson SureColor T5270 plotter for their... Uh, for all their uh, engineering stuff. Here's another Dell T1700. Got another one right here. Another Dell T1700. And another one here. So that, uh, it's all good. And then uh, some lower end grand stream phones. These are just, uh, these guys very seldom make telephone calls. This is the older model they used to have for the secretary. And we've moved it over to just a desktop here. And everything has at least dual monitors. Okay, so we open one of these up for you. So this will give you an idea. And again, this is an engineering firm, so they have dual video cards in here. The NVIDIA Quadro K620. Excellent card. We've had really good luck with them. You can see these machines are pretty darn pristine. Uh, however... It looks like there are 4x4, four four, uh, actually 4x2, right? 8, 8, 16, yeah. Uh, we were hoping to take the RAM out of this one and upgrade another one, but it looks like there are already all the uh, slots are populated. But Dell makes a really nice machine. Can't say enough good things about Dell. Uh, they're clean, they're well thought out, put together. Uh, so let's see what RAM chip we have in here. We'll take out number... Take out number two here. See if I can do this handheld. See if I still got my skills. And Jerry, while I got you in here, take a look at this. See how all the RAM slots are populated? Uh huh. This is what I was afraid of. I think we're gonna have to order a new RAM for these for his. Is it? And they're four gig sticks, so four times four is sixteen. So if the other machine is like this, we cannot. We were hoping to use sixteen gig of RAM out of here, and another machine to bump it up to thirty-two. But what we're going to have to do is order new RAM for that machine and have it come in. Now, the CEO is a hands-on kind of guy of this company. He says, well, just order the RAM and I'll put it in. So we'll order the RAM, he'll put it in, and then he'll call me because he's broken the machine. So it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to put this RAM back in here and set this machine aside uh, and determine where to go from there. So here we see an IT guy. Or a miner, one of the two, in his natural habitat. And you see how Dell has these funky little arrangements for their SSD drives. I swear they're like Apple. All the thought goes into the design without all the price going into the design. So it's kind of a neat way to do it. Of course, it took Jerry about an hour to figure out how to get it out of this little caddy, but he's a little slow. 55 minutes, not an hour. He's a little, it's, it's going to be all right, Jerry. He's a little slow, but we still love him. Mm. You see why I'm bald now. Keep yeah, and right people now. keep rubbing his head. That's why he's so bald. But yeah, here we go. Day of life. Day in the life of an IT guy. Uh, yeah, miner's helmet. He's just missing a helmet. We don't make him wear a safety helmet. There's nothing Because it, everybody says he's a blockhead anyway, so we figure he's protected. But yeah, here we go with the, with the drive going in right now. That's what she said. So as you can see, it is now officially rush hour on a Friday. So let's go see how rushy the hour is and I lied man that's uh I haven't lived in the city in 20 years so 
But uh, as you can see, if I can zoom in here, traffic is not that bad. It's flowing along nicely. So, yeah, made a liar out of me. Rush hour doesn't seem to be such a rush. <coughs> <coughs> now, of course, it just started. So that could change. So uh, while we're here, I'll come back and record again. Let you know if it uh, gets any busier. Uh, but man, oh man, when I lived in the city 20 years ago, 5 o'clock, that freeway was packed. So it could be a lot of people left early on a Friday. Who knows? Okay, so as you can see, this is a uh, remote desktop session. This is uh, my uh, support machine at a client location. It's running an i5. 3330, 16 gig of RAM. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, actually, I've already done this, so let me unmount this DVD. I'm going to show you what can be done across the internet. So if I go to my downloads folder, I've, uh, I've downloaded uh, Windows uh, 10 version 1903 for this client. And I'm going to go ahead and just right click here and I'm going to mount it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the setup program. So I'm doing all this from the comfort of my pajama pants and uh, my office. Uh, we'll just come through and click on next. So a lot of people this would frighten. Uh, I've done it before so I know it works. Most of the time, probably 95, 96, 98 percent of the time. Just a number I'm throwing out there. You can do a Windows 10 update uh, remotely. <clears throat> and the proof is going to be in the pudding on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do it as part of this Day in the Life episode. Uh, and then we've got another unit behind us, Adele, sitting on the bench that we're going to need to update as well. It's kind of a proof of concept. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the agreement. And then we're going to get the update started and let it run. And... Um, then I'm going to come back after it's done and give you an idea of how long it took. Now, I don't have any, <clears throat> like, iDRAC controller on this machine or any way to power cycle it remotely other than to call the client and go, hey, can you go in the server room and press this button and press this button. So, uh, hopefully this will go smoothly. We'll go through and reboot and we won't have any issues. Uh, that's the plan anyway. But, uh... So what I like to do is do a slow roll on Windows 10 updates and 1903 is no exception to that rule. So I'm being, you know, eating my own dog food, like I like to say, and I'm doing the update on my, my, the machine that I use first before unleashing it on the client. Uh, they have a lot of, uh, software that needs to run without interruption. So I can't have them coming in. For example, on a Monday morning and having a piece of software that suddenly doesn't work with the new version of Windows 10. So uh, we try to uh, test that as much in advance as we can. Okay, so I'm sure you've all seen this before. We're going to install Windows 10 Pro because that's what's on here now. We're going to keep our personal files and apps. And then we're going to tell it to install. And uh, we'll let this run. I, I'll try to keep tabs on how long this is taking. But we'll let it run for now, and we'll come back and uh, check on it in a bit. All right, so I went away and had dinner while that update completed. And uh, it rebooted without any trouble. And now I've got uh, some updates that need to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and restart those, and we'll come back uh, when those are completed. And we'll see how the overall system worked. So let's go see if our, uh, if our updates are now complete. Do one more check. I know. Real, real interesting stuff. But uh, it's funny, just a few short years ago, doing something like this over the internet was unheard of. I'd have to get in my vehicle, drive into the city, and take care of this stuff. Now I can sit from the comfort of my own home and do it. So, looks like all the updates are done. Uh, let's just make sure our land sweeper runs so that we're able to uh, get in and manage all of our devices on the network. Yep, there it goes. 
So it looks like we're in good shape. We got cameras, we've got all of our servers in here, workstations, etc. It looks like everything is working real well. I can see all of our Dell Precision workstations in there. And uh, yeah, it looks good. So I would say success. Well, there you go. Hope you found it entertaining and informative as always. Uh, and if you look on the bench behind me, we have one of their workstations here as well. Pardon my dog, he's not feeling well today and is a little uh, rambunctious. Uh, but we've got another one of those Dell workstations there on the uh, bench. We are tasked with upgrading from Windows 10 1809 to 1903. Uh, so Jerry and I are going to do that this week. And we're doing that here because we also have to upgrade the SSD drive in it and we have to order some new RAM. Uh, he wants to bump the RAM from 16 to 32, this client does. So we're going to be ordering the RAM for that as well. But they've got a lot of AutoCAD, Autodesk applications that run on there, and they want to make sure that this new version of Windows is not going to cause any problems with their existing software. So I'll do a, a video on that as well, showing you how, how we did that. Uh, that's actually a task that I'm uh, setting aside for Jerry so that he can get some hands-on experience with it. So we'll end the video right here. We hope you found it entertaining and informative as always. We, As always, we've got lots of new videos coming up. I've got plans going on in my head. Plans galore, folks. So we'll see if I get any of the videos made. Uh, anyway, thanks again for joining us. Please come back and see us again. Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section. Give us a like down there. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And then if you uh, are so inclined, you know we're gearing up to save up money for the new Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 3600, Ryzen 5 3600 or 3000 processor. We're going to build a new machine based on that. So that's what our donations these next couple of months are going to. So if you're so inclined, uh, go out to PayPal or Patreon and, and uh, shoot us a little spare change, a dollar here, a dollar there. It all adds up and, and uh, counts in the end. So thanks for coming to see us. And please don't forget that we will see you on the other side.